Hey, hello everybody. This is the Starving Martian, host of Martian Peace Theater. And you know, today I'm very happy to be bringing you some Killer Tomato action figures, collectibles, that sort of thing. You know, any fan of Mars Attacks, the motion picture, sh um, should also enjoy Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. And in fact, we owe Attack of the Killer Tomatoes a bit of a debt because uh, the ending of Mars Attacks movie was more or less ripped off of the ending of the first Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. If you don't know, there was actually four Killer Tomato movies in total. Track them down and enjoy. But for now, let's look at some of the toys that were produced. Not for the um, movies, but for a cartoon series that came out uh, back in the 90s. It's a cartoon series called Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, based largely off the movie Return of the Killer Tomatoes. And this is one of those tomatoes. This is um, hmm, Tamachu. That's his name. Dad, don't ask me. I didn't name him. So that's Tamachu. He's got some green face paint going on. I don't think he had that in the cartoon. I think the uh, toys, the manufacturers were just bored just making red tomatoes. They thought they needed a little color to spice it up. I rather wish they didn't because it stands out. Uh, I would have preferred it was just a red tomato with a uh, green stem, but whatever. So Tamachu here, like all the killer tomatoes in this line, has this feature where you squeeze his cheeks and his mouth opens wide. So he could chomp down uh, on any other action figure he happened to own. Here's a little action figure came with some of these tomatoes. Um, they all came with a little poorly painted, non-posable uh, figure of a human character from the show. This is Wilbur Finletter, hero of the Tomato Wars. And here he is getting eaten by a tomato. And so that's what they did, basically. You squeezed them, they ate things. They're killer tomatoes. What more do you want? So that's uh, Tamachu. He's one of the regular size killer tomatoes. There are also larger size killer tomatoes, like uh, my friend Zoltan here. And I love Zoltan's teeth. Look at that. That's wonderful. As you can see, these things are decently detailed, but not very well painted. Uh, he's got a lot of like scars and stitching and everything running the course of his body, but uh, they're just detailed and they're molded in, but they're not painted anywhere. He's got a uh, Mom Mato tattoo over here. Again, just molded in. And even his hair, he's got a stem kind of mohawk thing going on. And if you look on the back of his head, you'll see where it gets tied up and then continues down here, but this bit isn't painted at all. So it's a little unfortunate, but, um, but what are you going to do? My Zoltan kind of squeaks a bit when you open him, his mouth like a dog toy. And uh, the neat thing about Zoltan is if you're like me and you, you like the Killer Tomatoes but have never actually seen uh, the cartoon, you still know Zoltan because he was in the movie Killer Tomatoes Eat France. Excellent movie, by the way. The, my second favorite of the bunch. Uh, him along with his friends Ketchuk and Fang Matu. All right, this one's just a big dumb tomato. This is a tomato crossbred with a snake because of course it is. Because what else do you do with a tomato? You crossbreed it with a snake. It's fun. Uh, what else have we got? Well, we got a tomato crossbred with a bull. This is beef steak from the cartoon. He was my first killer tomato figure. I found him at a flea market on card uh, for like two bucks which is a great price for these things, they have become ridiculously expensive. Uh, I don't know exactly why, but uh, good luck finding these things at a decent price. If you're looking at um, 25 to $35 a piece for the little ones. These guys here, you don't even want to know how much you're going to be paying for them. Um, aside from Zoltan, there's also a large mummy tomato called Mamatu which I've seen a couple times, and it's always at least like in the $100 range. I'm not paying $100 for a used toy. Here's another kind of killer tomato that they made. Uh, this is all tomato. He's one of the walking tomatoes. It's got these uh, chicken walker style legs. If you're looking close, you'll see that they're actually vines, which is pretty cool. Uh, he has the same feature where he opens his mouth wide to chomp down on whoever. And he also initially would have had a um, plastic piece coming out of his mouth with um, a, a vine kind of pincher claw to grab the little figures. 
uh, mine was used doesn't come with it but I actually think it looks better without uh, this guy's really good. I love the detailing on him. You can see all the cracks running down the side of his face. Uh, it looks like it just hurts existing. Um, aside from the tomatoes, when you bought a killer tomato, if you got it new in package, which not all of mine are, they would come with one of these, um, like I said, one of these little figurines. This is um, Professor Gangreen character who was played by uh, John Astin in the movies. You know, the guy who plays Gomez in the Adams Family. I believe he voiced him in the cartoon, too. As I said, I've never seen the cartoon, so I can't say for sure. But that's Professor Gangreen, the lead villain. Uh, this particular little figurine was also used in the movie Killer Tomatoes Eat France. Um, Dr. Gangreen places a figure of himself down on a map to show uh, where his tomato army is advancing. So that's kind of cool to have. This is um, Igor, his assistant, who looks none too happy to be here today. Um, Finletter, we've already seen. Yeah, this is Chad. He was in the movie Return of the Killer Tomatoes for the cartoon that made him much younger. And uh, there were others made also, but uh, these are the only ones I have. What I do have, though, is some of the same characters, but these more highly detailed and better painted. Uh, these are put out by Applause. Um, made a lot of these little PVC collectibles. So here's Dr. Gangreen again, holding a killer tomato. Looks like it might be ketchup. Here's the uh, heroine of the bit, Tanya Boudier. Um, she's got a killer tomato under her arm. That's actually a fuzzy tomato. We'll be seeing a lot of fuzzy tomato in just a minute. Fuzzy tomato, or FT as he's also called. Uh, the good or heroic tomato of the series. Here is, again, Chad Finletter on a skateboard, because it was the 90s, and, you know, all the kids had skateboards. He's got a pizza, a tomato-free pizza, because this is post the Great Tomato War, and tomatoes are illegal, so then your pizzas have tomatoes on them and um, applause of course also put out some uh, tomatoes in the set this is we saw Tanya uh, she's actually a killer tomato you know she doesn't look it but uh, if you ever watched uh, Return of the Killer Tomato she is a tomato that was um, turned into human form by Dr. Gangrene and uh, this is her in the cartoon at least in tomato form in the movie she doesn't have any facial features but uh, in the cartoon, she can still be turned back into the tomato. There's no mouth for some reason. Uh, here is an applause killer tomato. Just regular, standard, everyday, tomato-y tomato. And this one here kind of looks like... Um, well, he, he's the tomato that was used on the logo for the movie. Um, again, applause put out a couple fuzzy tomato figures. One here. A little happy-go-lucky fuzzy tomato. And here's a more rubbery, kind of bounce ball sort of fuzzy tomato. And just on the off chance that that's not enough fuzzy tomatoes for you, they also made this. This is the um, plush fuzzy tomato. And it honestly is fuzzy. So, um, you know, points for, um, you know, advertising, uh, truth in advertising. So, you can see uh, he's still got his tags on him. Still says Attack of the Killer Tomatoes by applause. And, yeah, that uh, tomato I showed you earlier, you can see how it's the same design that they used on their logo. And that's Fuzzy Tomato. Any adorable people? Don't you want one? Who won it? All right, well, that's uh, more or less all I can show you. That's all I have of the Killer Tomato line. It's not all they've put out, but as I said, these things have gotten monstrously expensive and don't show any sign of getting cheaper anytime soon. But uh, I'm content with what I got. So I uh, hope you guys are content with this video. And um, until next time, this has been the Starving Martian 
uh, warning you not only to watch the skies, but also um, be careful around your gardens. Catch you later.